That, that minute countdown went very quick for me. Normally I'm sitting here watching a countdown, but I'm looking at the stamp set thinking, mm, what am I going to make today? <laughs> you can tell I'm not very organized this week. It has been a big week. Hello everyone. My name is Alisa Tilsner. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia and I'm actually in South Australia and we go live every Thursday morning with a little bit of uh, stamping, card making, um, hopefully inspire you to um, get creative in your own card making. Hello Linda, hello Wendy, they're here already, they've been waiting for me, that's exciting, I'm so happy. Um, okay, so we are going to be playing with the Elephant Parade stamp set. This is from the annual catalogue, good morning Robin. Um, this is from the annual catalogue, I've gone back to this one. I actually, I loved it when it first came out and I didn't get it until just recently. And I think you may have remember I, I spoke a couple of weeks ago about how I ordered a heap of stuff and I forgot to, to actually look at it. Well, this is one of the stamp sets that was in there. And uh, and then I had a request the other week for um, some baby cards. So I thought, well, this would be cute for baby cards. So I've got something in mind. I'm not sure whether I can actually get it to work. And then my mind started ticking over and I thought it would be a fun interactive card. Don't think I can pull off an interactive card today. I think it would take a little bit of thought process, but we might get there. We might, um, I, I'll have to think about it perhaps during the holidays and, and think a little bit more about that. I don't think I'll have time, but we'll, we'll do half an interactive card. Um, good morning, Lynn. Okay, so, and then remind me at the end um, of our card making session that my pre-order turned up late last night and um, I've only opened the box. It's sitting right beside me. So remind me to show you. I didn't get a lot, but um, I did get some stuff that I can show you anyway. So um, now I am streaming both on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. So if you see me answering um, questions or comments to people who, and you're like, hang on a minute, they're not commenting here. They might be on the other platform. So let us get swung around. And uh, so we're going to be doing some coloring today. Snip, snip. Um, uh, we will be doing some coloring in today. So let me know um, whether you want to see full on coloring or whether you want to see simple coloring. Okay. So let me know that. And I'm sure that we will come up with um, a card as we are going along so this is brand 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 new like i have not even i haven't even opened it i haven't even taken the dies out of the wrapping so that's how brand new it is so we are well and truly winging it today so let's take a look at it first we have got 13 stamps in this one good morning amanda we've got 13 stamps in this one they are cling um so the red rubber and they are super cute so I reckon this stamp set you could use for a few different um, types of cards like, you know, I'll never forget kindness. So that's a bit of a thank you card, sweet little one. So you could either have that as a baby card or young toddler birthday card. Of course, friends forever can be just for anybody. And what a happy day. I thought I might use that one today. So that one could be for anything really it could be like a congratulations or another baby card because you know it's such a happy day that you've had a baby or it could be a birthday card it could be any type of card so i think that that's actually a pretty good sentiment um, to cover sort of all sorts of bases okay and then we've got our couple of different effluence um a balloon a little mouse flower peanuts butterfly and some foliage going on so let's take a look um at the actual die see look i haven't even opened it <gasps> put that over there chuck it on the ground everything else my husband came in the other day and he's like why don't you clean up some of this crap in here? I'm like mm, I'm trying i'm trying okay so here are our dies so by the looks of it we have obviously dies to cut out our main elephants we have dies to cut out the balloon, the leafy foliage, um, dies to cut out your peanut and the flower. What's that one? That one must be your mouse. And then we've got some solid 
uh, grassy stuff going on and then a couple of bows as well so oh, and the butterflies don't forget those ones oh and the peanuts so we've got a string of peanuts and they would be by the looks of it they will cut out your three peanuts but by the looks it will also emboss so if you want um, like crumb cake peanuts or something like that you can uh, just cut them out rather than stamping them and coloring them so you could cut them out solid and they would be embossed okay so that's what we have to play with today so we are going to color in good morning Wendy who is here so we're going to color in today so let me know whether you want me to do simple coloring or whether you want me to do um, a little bit more detailed coloring so I'm using my blends for that one if, if that helps with your decision making and I've got some whisper white uh, basic white over here I keep calling it whisper white actually I will do that one and I do want my leafy image as well so I'm going to color in the effluent and I'm also going to color in the leaves the leaf so detailed coloring says Wendy on YouTube. All right. So, but as we know, we need to, oh, I've got to get closer. Oh, wait a minute. I'm bumping everything. Let me get this closer to me because I will, when I want to color, maybe I'll, maybe I'll give the foliage a little bit more detail and I'll give the, um, cause I don't know that I can go too advanced in the elephant anyway and mind you I've not colored this guy in before so it will all be new simple coloring maybe I'll do a mixture so we're stamping in memento because we are using our blends and we need a water-based because our blends are alcohol so opposites attract now don't forget if you are watching this and uh, and it was you guys who told me this tip if you are watching on your YouTube and you are watching squeaky squeaky and you are watching uh, via a mobile device, you can actually pinch your screen and zoom in now, which I think is pretty darn cool. So you can actually do that. I can't zoom in from my program that I'm using, but if you are watching on YouTube mobile, zoom in if you wish. All right. So let me, this is going to annoy me. Let me just hack off that. There we go. That's a little bit easier. So you guys can zoom right on in, which is going to be handy. I'm going to start with his ears, I think. And I have got, sorry, this was supposed to be simple, but I don't know, his ears are going to have a little bit more color in them. So I have got petal pink and I have also got calypso coral because I think that these two colors um, work beautifully together. So I am going to start off with, I think, <clears throat> my dark petal pink <clears throat> excuse me and I'm just going to add a little bit of color and if you are zooming in on YouTube I'm going to try very very hard and stick to that same area without moving around on my thing too much okay and then but I am going to bring it up to the screen as well so just be aware of that so I'm going to just that would be simple. Maybe I can say that would be simple and then this would be stepped up. So that would be your simple look. So just a really nice soft pale pink in the ear. But if you wanted to add a little bit more to it, um, I'm going to come in with my, uh, oh, watching on your TV. Oh, gosh, that one must be nice and big. Um, but that's good because then everyone can watch, right? So now I'm coming in with my light Calypso Coral and I'm just going to go over the top up here but probably only a quarter of the way so and then I'm going to come in with my dark petal pink and blend that and then again with my light and I'm just leaving the very very tip of it white a little bit of white space now if you wanted to go oh, wait a minute, I'll bring that up to you again so it's it's a lot more vivid in real life I can tell you that so that's a little bit of a step up now if you wanted to go one step up just that little bit further because his ears are so cute you can pop in just a tiny 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 amount 
of um, the dark calypso coral and then repeat that process. So dark calypso coral, light calypso coral. You could even leave it at that and let it let it settle in. It will it will actually. Yeah, that Zoom feature is really cool, isn't it? So hopefully I'm not like bugging you out by coming bringing up to the screen. So I highly recommend if you if you have a YouTube account, go go and watch this on YouTube um, instead of Facebook, and log in so you can chat. All right, so I'm really super happy with his ears now. Aren't they just cute? I wonder what he'd look like if you just coloured in his ears and didn't do anything else. I know that's a bit silly, but it would be it would be a different card, wouldn't it? All right. I won't put them too far away because I will use them to put a little bit of rosy on his cheek. And then I was thinking that I would use grey granite instead of smoky slate. This is a warmer, a warmer grey. The smoky slate is a bit of a cooler grey. So coming in, I'm going to do all my dark first and I'm just going to use grey. I'm not going to use any other colours. And I'm just doing a little bit of a tip. Oh, it's working fine. Oh, okay, excellent. So I'm just doing a little bit of a tip on the ears and then I'll just blend a little bit with the light. And I'm also going to leave white space at the tips of his ears as well. So this is my first time colouring him. So it's all new to me as well. So I'm just going to leave that. Leave, see, you can see how I've got the little tips um white i haven't colored all the way and then i always repeat it twice so dark day dark gray, day granite gray granite dark and you could just do that like you don't have to come in with the light again you could just do the dark and let it settle day, day. okay so that's that done and then we're going to do his, I might do his body only because I haven't coloured him before. So I'll do a little bit on his tail and then I'm going to come in under his head and then just around his body. Well, we might have to give him some pink, um, pink toenails, right? All right, so we're going to do that and then just a little bit on there. So I'll bring that up again. So that's what I've done with the dark. And then coming in with the light, I'm going to put my caps back on because otherwise some, sometimes the caps are very similar in colour and I get them mixed up. Um, and so then we're going to come over the top So colour it like, and when I say go over the top, I mean go over the top of your dark. Don't don't start at your dark. Go over the top of your dark, and then come in towards the middle. Okay. Right. So now he's got a bit of white belly, like so. And then I'm going to come in with my dark again and I'm going to go over the top of everything again. I know it can seem a little bit tedious, but this is how I colour. So, and I thought, well, I might as well show you how I colour. And then with our light again, so this time I will probably start at, like I'm not going right over the top, I'm just going to start at the dark grey. And then I'm going to close up that gap just a little bit so that we've still got a little bit of white. Now, the thing with the blends is that you can just keep layering and layering your colours and that's where you start to get your light and dark as well. So now if I let it relax a little bit, I can actually go over the top and I will still have that little light, light patch. See how I've got that little light patch in the centre? I, I can just go backwards and forwards with my dark. If 
but then I sort of don't go into the middle again. I've already colored over my middle, so now I just want to keep highlighting those areas around the around the outside. So I get a little bit of light and shade. Ta -da! I'm just going to do I'm just going to use the calypso and just pop a little bit of color on his toenails, just dot them on. Like so. Okay, now his head. So his head sort of does scare me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Just freak me out a little bit. So we're just going to go around the outside with the dark. It's probably going to be one of those moments where I go, why didn't I colour it in? Like practice first before going straight on live with it. Okay, I'm going to leave, um, I know that the shadows normally come in underneath and I've perhaps done this back to front, but I'm going to leave, um, I'm just going to colour in the top of his noggin, his trunk like that. Okay, so coming in with the light and I'm just going to pretty much do the same thing as what I did before. So going over my dark for the first pass. That way I can get rid of that texture line type thing that you get. Okay, and then you can do another pass. Okay, we have... Did you guys know we have free shipping today? Can you believe it? I was super surprised that we got free shipping again, but that's really exciting. So I'm just going to stop for a minute and then come over the whole lot again and extend it out just a little bit more. So, yes, we have free shipping. It's 24 hours only and it started at midnight already so it finishes at midnight tonight so if you are wanting to get some things like me i keep forgetting to get that blasted um apple harvest i'm gonna leave that a little bit white i keep forgetting to get that apple harvest um dye that matches that stamp set so i am going to get that and i also need to get some more of this grid paper because i keep forgetting that as well Hopeless. So there is a minimum spend of $65 in Australia, um, but that ends tonight. Oh, there's a few other things I was going to show you. Oh, that's right. If you want to, the, these cards that I make today, if you are just joining me, because I'm sort of being a little bit quiet now that I'm colouring, um, these cards will be going out as a tutorial tomorrow um, and I, I do actually link the videos in the tutorials as well so that you can come back and watch. And obviously, you'll probably want to watch this um, colouring tutorial that I'm doing. So I'm actually going to leave that a little bit white under his trunk, I think. And sorry that I'm being quiet because it's the first time colouring this guy. Um, free, free shipping ends tonight. So we have free shipping in all of the markets uh on the 15th so if you are not in australia if you're in australia it ends tonight at midnight um so that is free shipping free shipping in australia okay so i want to put a little bit of rosiness in his cheeks but i don't want to go overboard so i'm going to start off with my light petal pink and I'm just going to come in under his eye area where his cheek would be and you can go straight over the top of your grey and you see how he's just got like a little slight blush now um, so I just wanted to do that really really gently and put that in because he that will settle down and push into the grey and um, I'm just sort of got to Oops, that's, oh no, there's my light. Oh, I thought I was going to pick up my dark then. And then you can just go backwards and forwards. Like if you feel, I always do it. I always come back in with more of my dark 
um, and just add a few extra little details. So I sort of let my colouring dry a little bit and then I always come back in and add more dark. So I do, if you guys know me, you know I do like intense colour. I do like the bold. I do, can't help her and I can't help colouring. Anyway, I'm going to say that's that. I'm gonna gonna call it quits on him. Now that's the what I was trying to say before I get so I get like backwards and forwards with my um, talking. So the tutorial for this card will be going out in tomorrow's newsletter. So you'll see on the screen my website, which is alisatilsner.com. If you head on over there after this, you can subscribe to my newsletter. And each Friday, you will receive um, a free PDF tutorial. Now this week, I have been making a stack more of the cards that I made last week. And I even did a reel showing it as well. And so I've just made heaps of them. So I'm actually going to be resending the tutorial for this one too. So if you are new to me, um, jump on over, sign up because you'll actually get two tutorials. So I'm going to resend that one and then um, and then this one will go out, whatever this card turns out to be. Okay, so there's my cutie patootie. Um, that will settle down. See how it's got a dark line? That will settle down. Don't worry about that. So, and I think it gives a nice little distinction between it too. Now, I have got here, I'm just going to grab some scrap. And believe me, I have got plenty of scraps next to me. I was thinking, because I was actually thinking that I'm going to use, I might use that stripy green um, paper, which is the Christmas paper, but I thought I might use it in my card today, which is shaded spruce. So I thought I might actually pop in. I know they look completely different. Don't don't freak out too much yet. But what I normally like to do is just on a scrap, I just like to try a bit of a blend first. So if you're a little bit worried about going straight onto your paper, just grab a piece of scrap and see what a colour blend what this would look like so I'm thinking it might whoops wrong end it might change the color of my green a little too much because I do want to put that up against oh no it might be okay I do want to put it up against here let's have a play shall we what could go wrong what can go wrong okay so I'm going to start with my dark shaded spruce Okay, so this will be, again, where you want to zoom in. If you are on YouTube, you can definitely zoom in. Hello, Michelle. Okay, so, and this one I'll probably do. Um, okay, so starting with these veins, I'm just going to go, because this one is a good open one, so you can actually do this with this one. So I'm just putting down a line of dark green along where those veins run and at the start. Okay, and can get a little bit tricky because you're like, well, I don't know what I'm looking at at the moment and all I can see is stripes. So I'll bring that up. Okay, so that's where I've put my dark green. Now I come in with my light shaded spruce and I'm going to go over the top of my dark and just bring it out a little bit further. So it's going to look very, very stripy to start with. Getting there. Sorry, I'm so quiet today. I can't, I tend to not um, talk a whole lot when I colour. Okay, so there's our stripes. Now, do I leave it as the two or should I do the three? What do you think? The four colours. Leave it as two or, or three? 
let me know. I'll wait a moment before I go and do it because it will change how I'm going to colour in. So um, let me know what you think. Do we want to do, do we want to put the granny apple green in there or shall I keep it as these guys? Do, the, do more colours? Wendy says, Wendy on YouTube says, more colours. Do the three. I mean, you know, really, what have we got to lose? So basically, if you just wanted to do two colours, you would just do it like this, but you would work it like so you would have a little bit thicker, um, dark and then a thinner light, and you could just totally do it like this. But we will throw, leave it, Jenny says, leave it. Oh, I'm starting to get comments. I shouldn't always take the first one, right? <laughs> So I'll wait just a fraction more. i got to think about the rest of my card too. <laughs> what am I going to do with the rest of my card? So Donna says three, three, four, three or four colours. When I say three, I mean four. <laughs> All right, let's do, let's actually throw this lighter colour in there. We'll see what happens. Okay, so basically we're going to take the dark green and i'm going to go over the top of everything i've done and extend it out that little bit further again okay you do want to leave a little bit of white space there so you can see how the color has completely changed but you know me, we won't be done. Uh, come right over the top, extend that out. Okay, and last one. Okay, so that's what we've got going on now okay and then our final color and we go over the top and extend it out over the top of everything and if you can you can leave uh, just a slither of white if you can sometimes i can't sometimes i can sometimes i can't but that's okay but this is a good open leaf one to practice that. And that's why I really do prefer using the um, bullet tip, especially with the smaller images that we have. All right, over the top, extend it down a little bit. Okay, so there we have our foliage. Now, you know me, I'm not done. So, whoop, throw my lids around. I'm going to come back to my dark. And this is where your shaded spruce comes in a little bit more. So we're just going to outline those, um, just outline those markings again. All right. Yeah, bullet. I I rarely rarely use unless I'm coloring absolutely massive areas. I will not use. Um, I won't use the the brush tip. So over and extend it out. Did I do these ones? I can't remember. Okay, and then and then I'm gonna um, actually think I'm gonna miss the middle one, the dark green, and then just go straight to the light green. Because I'm gonna use the shaded spruce designer series paper. I really do want a fair bit of shaded spruce colour in that. So you can always come back and check 
how it's going to look alongside it as well. So, so that, I'm quite happy with that. It's actually got a lot of nice detail and colour into it. But, you know me, I'm going to just put a little bit more shade of spruce in there. Okay, and this is the light shade of spruce. Can't help myself. Even if it's just on that main, that main one there. I'm hopeless. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. There we go. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Put it away. Put it away. Okay. Now, I had thoughts in my head. Oh, I should have had thought I should have had thoughts in my head um a little bit earlier before I stamped them because I need a little bit of anyway, I don't know I don't know whether it's gonna work or not. I have to cut that leaf out. You can I'm not gonna die cut it, I'm actually going to um hand cut it because I've had something in my head since I first saw that this stamp set. Don't know whether I can do it or not, but we'll have I've got an idea. Anyway. Ta -da! Line up nicely. Sorry if my head is getting in. Alrighty. Now, wait a minute, I've got to watch out for that crack. <laughs> Just get a new set of plates, Elisa. All right. Hold it down firmly. Here she comes. <laughs> Audrey said she was going to say leave it and then I started colouring in and I didn't leave it. But, oh, don't, 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 don't. Oh, don't you hate that when I does that? It's okay. I can deal with it. I can deal with it. It's not so bad. All right. Now, I do want, I do want, um, okay, what do I want? I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. I am, good morning, Margaret. Welcome to the house of, we have no idea what's going on at the moment. <laughs> I've coloured my images. I've got a sort of half idea in my head. I do want to use this paper from the design series paper. I just have to make sure that it is long enough. Yes, it is. Um, so I want him to go with that. But I also want to do some... I've got my card base, which is going to be white. Okay, so this is where the whole... Um, I know, I know. I have to change things around because of that blasted crack. Just get the new plates out already. Right? Jiminy, I've had them. I've had them for months. I just... Anyway. If you get that, you can come in with your scissors because, look, he's really close on he's really close on this side and then he's got too much white on that side. Bleh. Anyway, that's what happens. Hello, hello. If you're coming in, if you're coming in, if you're just joining me, I have just done a little colouring tutorial on, um, well, I won't say little because it, it took half an hour. <laughs> So I won't say it was a little one. I can't believe that. It took me half an hour to colour in to colour in the effluent and the and the leaves. Anyway, that's okay. Okay, so I've got that and I've got this. And I also want to do some ink blending. So but I'm gonna do it on another panel. I normally don't do another panel, but I normally I do it straight onto my white, but I'm thinking that I want another panel this time. So I'm going to do that one. So don't be too fast with measurements that I'm doing because if you are signed up to my newsletter, all of the measurements will be given to you. If you are not on my newsletter, jump on. You have time. 
if you are watching the replay and you want this tutorial because you've missed it, then by all means you can just join up to the newsletter and then send me an email and say, hey, can I please have that tutorial? Okay. Radio. Now. Or do I want to do ink blending? Do I want to do ink blending? I'm going to pop him down there. I know that much. I might have to trim that a little bit slimmer. And this, this is the idea I've got. Let me cut this leaf out and I'll tell you the idea that I have and then you guys can um, weigh in with me. Okay. I don't know whether this is going to work. But I want to... I always thought how cute would it be if he was hiding behind this leafy matter, which is, you know, I don't want to cover his cute little face up completely, but I just ha always had this vision of him hiding behind the leaves. And then I thought, wouldn't it be cool if so I always thought it would be cool if he was hiding behind if he was hiding behind the leaves like peek -a -boo type thing like like that like peek -a -boo. and then I thought what if you made it so you could actually lift up that little thing and see his face hence the reason why I have cut this one out and I will score it across, but I don't know whether it will work because his head is a little bit round and this would have to score flat. So let's try and if it doesn't work, I can just die cut it and just, you know, pop it behind him. So I thought it would be sweet to do that and then secure that at the back so that you could just I don't know what do you think will it work will people know that you have to sort of lift that up I don't know what do you think stupid idea or good idea I won't be offended if you all go no that's a stupid idea That's what I was thinking. Pop it behind. I just need to trim his head down a little bit. That's too much white there for me. So I should have just cut the little guy out instead. Um, could I cut a die, say, uh, could you die cut, say, a circle in the card front and put the leaf on the front and the elephant in behind him. Ooh, so he hangs over the edge and then when you open up your card, your little guy is in there. Ooh, that could be cool. So, ta -da! that's what he would look like because it wouldn't, it obviously isn't going to sit down flat. So, he would be hiding behind there. Ding, ding. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm going to grab some. I need some green apple green cards. Because I need to pull in some green. I need to pull in a little bit of green. Okay, so let me know. Thoughts on that while I do this. Touch it under his head. It should work. Hopefully it would work. And then I was thinking, um, 
just before like while my countdown was going how cool and i'm probably not this clever but how cool would it be sorry amanda how cool would it be if you actually had some contraption where you could go pull oops sorry hold it up to you guys not to me hold like so that you could go pull and that the flap would lift up <laughs> but i'm not that clever i don't think i'm clever enough to um have like a working mechanism you know the books the books that we used to get as kids and that would have all these different things and you'd be like pull here pull here and i thought how cool would that be if you just had something that you would pull down ding ding <laughs> okay stamp, how does the stamp set uh does the stamp set have the leaves as well um i do a light stamp behind them it has well it has that is the leaf but um that is the foliage there but i am uh, oh I, i've never made a waterfall card before i'm actually thinking that i'm going to die cut a few of these to go behind him as well so these are just the solid legs i do want to do that as well okay so i'm going to take a chance and i'm going to stick that to the back of his head okay i'm just going to do it i'm going to stop wondering <laughs> i'm just gonna do it if I can get my adhesive to work. Okay. Ta -da. Okay, done. Because it's going to pop up anyway. It's not going to sit completely flat. Um, add a pull. I know, but I don't know how to pull. I don't know how to add a pull. A pull tab thing. I don't know. That's what I mean. I can't, I, my brain, I think I would need to think about it a little bit instead of just coming on and going, hey, I'm doing a live and I've got no idea what we're making today. <laughs> Which is totally me all the time. That one would require some planning. All right. So I was going to do, I was going to put these guys over here. And then I was going to do some ink blending and have him sit. Oh, what is that? Then I was going to have him sitting over there, but I don't know about ink blending on that oh yes let's do the ink blending i'm just having thoughts don't mind me do look i have to show you something Ta -da! Look at these. Do -do 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 -do. coming soon okay all right doing it doing it i'm doing dallying gosh this this live today is going to be going on forever so I will remind you again, we have free shipping today only uh, in Australia. All of the other markets have it as well, but it will be on the 15th for you. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. Oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I have actually thought about that too. Robin, who is watching from Facebook, said, hey, you know what, I can. I keep forgetting I can do these things. These brushes are the best and that's just thinking of using one for makeup. And I have actually wondered, because they're so soft as well, and I think, oh, I actually would like to use that for my makeup. Now, how do I want to do this? Don't I just want to go up too far. Okay, now I can take that down. How fun is that? I always forget that I can put comments up on the screen. Okay, let's go dark down here because you guys know I can't help myself. I don't think I want to do any ink splatter, like water splatter today. I don't think so. All right, so I'm just going to fade that nice and dark around the bottom and then fade it up the top sort of on an angle sort of you know whatever take it as it comes you want to get this card finished right i didn't think that i would be here for this long so my apologies now i need some shady spruce card so you have to bear with me when i'm not organized oh actually having another thought I thought about doing 
some of that graphic stuff but now i'm having another i'm having thoughts <gasps> yes. mm. might be a crappy thought Should go slower. Well, I wonder what that would look like. All right, let's die cut these guys. I know thoughts are really dangerous, Michelle. They are really dangerous. Especially when you're being watched. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's see. Have I got enough room to fit both of them? Because oh. they're new. Have I got enough room? Possibly. All right, let's see what happens. Just for a little bit of contrast. Actually, I do some really dodgy stuff. Like, I'm just thinking, thank goodness for black nail polish, right? I've had this on for almost two weeks and I'm starting to get a little bit of tip wear and I'm like, oh, man, I hate tip wear. I hate it. And, uh, and then I thought, well, thank goodness for black nail polish because <laughs> I just coloured in all my teeth. <laughs> tips and any chips that doesn't look too bad I'm quite happy with them they look pretty cool so that was just scribbling on my dark I should put my lid on my dark shaded spruce and then the dark uh, granny apple green and that has just given me a little bit of contrast whoopsie with my colouring. <sighs> so always get nail polish in a colour that you can get a Sharpie. And it stays on it stays on for quite some time. Like it didn't wipe off at all. It actually the the Sharpie stayed on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a dad. Okay. I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. Got that. I've got some of that. See, now that just sort of separates it a little bit when I've got um, a little bit of that going on. And then I've got that. And I can pop that in there. Ta -da! Although it would even covers these little toes up, but that's okay. And then, okay, so then I need my sentiment. So, okay, I'm going to do What a Happy Day. But um, um, I'll probably stamp it in black, unless you think I should stamp it in shaded spruce, in which case I will stamp it in shaded spruce. But while I'm waiting, I will start putting these guys together. And then, of course, we need some bling. Wait a minute, I need to. I'm just, I'm not happy with that. I've got to, I've got to trim. I just got to trim that a little bit, and I've got to trim around his tail. Oh, and I've got to trim around here. I'm not happy with the way that that die cut. Oops, and it'll be just my luck that I cut my fingernails. I wonder if there's some new bling that will match. My Fitbit's telling me to get up off my backside and go for a walk. Bzzz, wrong. All right. All righty, black. Well, I guess because I've stamped in black, sort of black. Um, black works doesn't it and I've got so much green going on but who would have thought you could use a Christmas paper for I only want a thin sliver of that Christmas paper for whatever card this is going to be I think I'm just going to use it as a birthday card or a congratulations card or just a whatever card because we're happy and I'm going to put that right on the edge so that a tiny little bit of the white in the corner and a little bit of the green down there shows. 
So I'm going to do that. Okay. Da -da, da -da. Okay. You, I know I'm going to put you on dimensionals. Oh, I forgot to get myself another pack. That's okay. You guys are kind. Right. I will get rid of that bit that I didn't cut off properly. Put you on. Oh, my finger's stuck. Ah, oh, yeah, put some on his ears as well. His ears, I love those little soft pink ears. They coloured up so cute. Okay, now I'm going to stick one. Let me line this up. I'm going to line everything up. I'm going to put one there so it's behind him. All right. And close your eyes. This is the time I bring out the naughty stuff. So pop one. I think I had it there. I can't remember. Yep, you'll do. Now, I wonder if I should put that in the background as well. So that way, I think I will because I don't want to cover up too much of him. Jeepers, we spent half an hour colouring him. He needs to be seen, right? Get all that effort. We'll pop him down there. And you could always, if you wanted to have a little bit more dimension as well, you could always bend the tops of those um, grass blades back a little bit as well. Ta -da, ta -da. All right. So you, yes, I'm happy for you to go on. I suppose I should have cut out my stamp and cut my uh, sentiment first because now if my sentiment goes in the wrong place I probably won't be happy make sure you're all straight again cute I'm happy with him okay Radio. So don't forget uh, instructions if you're just joining us. Instructions for this card, measurements and everything else will be going out in my tutorial which goes out on every Friday morning. So and you will, if you are signed, subscribed, you will get a, a new one every Friday, usually what we're making today. So if you happen to miss one you can always come back and um you know catch them via the via the newsletter so it was a written tutorial and it will have links to the youtube video actually i think it's a link to my blog which has the youtube video on it oops okay wow this has turned out to be a longer card than i thought But that's okay. All right, get you down. And I still need my sentiment. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. Uh, what am I looking for? Friends forever. Have a happy day. This one. Oh, okay. So that's not as long as what I thought it would be. That's a good thing. And scrap of white around here somewhere. I wonder if you'll be enough. Yep. All right. Are you still hanging in here with me? Everyone's a little bit quiet today. All right. What a happy day. I'm going to delve into my box of goodies and see whether there is anything new that I can use for my bling. Okay. Close your eyes again. Not a <laughs> my thought process my thought process sometimes can be a little bit scary but I do like to tell you what my brain is thinking so that it you know may help in your card making 
somewhere along the line, either that or you might just think I'm a complete twit and uh, <laughs> uh, which I am. <laughs> okay, what a crappy day and I will cover him up just a tiny little bit. I do like low sentiments, light sentiments, like lower on the card, not low sentiments. All right, I'm just going to do one long one and I'm going to make sure that it's on this end. You can pop a little bit of adhesive on that side if you want, but I'm pretty sure that I have got enough height in there, like sticky going on that I don't need to put anything on the end. So there we go. Day. All right, what have I got in here? What have I got? Surely I've got more embellishments than that. What have we got? Opaque adhesive darts, flat adhesive backed pearls. Ooh, I've got what are you guys? Iridescent pastel gems. I don't know that they are gonna match. I think I did get one on look. Like I said, I don't normally get lots. Um, find them. Oh, this might be cute. I actually got, I don't normally use charms like this. I wonder how. A little butter, a little dragonfly would go on the card instead of some bling. What do you think? I don't know. I don't normally get things like this, but I did. Maybe I'll put a little dragonfly on there instead. What do you think? I did get something. I'm going to show you. I'm, I will empty out. Well, now I'm dropping stuff everywhere. I will empty out my box, but I'm just thinking. Because normally I would stick a couple of rhinestones on him, but um, butterfly. Oh, I've got butterflies still. Where are they? Oh, oh, I've got these ones. So I have, yeah, I've got a dragonfly or I've got, um, is that what you meant? The gold butterfly, the bra brush brassed butterflies? I don't know whether I've got, um, I don't, oh yeah, that's what you meant. I don't know that I've got. Where's my other? I've got milky dots as well. Oh, there they are. On oh, the milky dots, and they are the wrong colour, so they are not going to do. So, okay, so choice: dragonfly, silver dragonfly, or brass butterflies. And in which case, I probably would put three. Dragonfly says Jenny. Brass butterflies or dragonfly. You can't do that because, you know, you have to, I know they would both be okay, but you've got to give me more help than that. <laughs> dragonfly, whoops, dropping stuff everywhere, guys. Okay, dragonfly, let's use, let's use the dragonfly just because he's new and, and I know what will happen. I won't use them. I'll, I would have bought them and they won't get used. So let's, let's do a little dragonfly. You know, okay, finally found one. I think I should get some more glue dots too, right? Right, we'll try and put one of these on the back there. Might have to sort of like bend it over and smush it around a little bit. Yep, dragonfly. He could be hiding from the dragonfly. There we go. We'll pop, we'll pop the dragonfly. Up there, there we go. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with him. We've been here for a long time today, though. But uh, thank you for watching the entire way, because I'm, I'm actually I really like the way that that leaf turned out. I really like the way that he turned out. Now, okay, so he's still got a little bit of a, a line going on. So if you don't like it, don't use the dark, use the light, you can actually come back and just, you know, go over that again if you wanted to. But I don't mind. I don't mind that, actually. So 
makes his head pop a little bit more. So, da da! Pop! I'm hiding! <laughs> and of course, when it sits on your mantle, it'll be popping up a little bit too. So, there we go. Okay, so my, my vision of this thing sort of sort of came to, I guess you could, if you wanted to, and you wanted to sort of secure it, but have it half popping up, although it's fun to be able to lift it up and see him, um, you could always pop like something up there and just have it sort of half sitting. But anyway, that's pretty cute. Okay, who wants to see what I got new? Because I haven't really gone through much of this either. So you saw my blending brushes. I got the mini ones. Oh, oh but oh, just put my hair in everything. Um, but there's also a storage container that comes with it, which is ah, oh, okay. Mm, right away. So this uh, obviously goes like that, and. No, is that how, how does it work? Stamp it up. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Radio. It has got, oh, maybe it goes this, no, it doesn't go that way. All right, so it has got a hole on here and a hole on here so that you can stand him up like that. It's a bit hard for me to show you, but it basically stands like that. Okay, there we go. Figured it out. Um, I'll pack that up. I'll have to, I need to, um, like my husband said the other day when he walked in my room, I need to clear all the stuff off the back of your cupboard. If I do need to do, I do need to do it. It's gotten cluttered back there. So I'm thinking I might pop this stand at the back there. So we have mini ones and we have a storage holder. Okay, this is, I'm going to make a mess. I'm just going to, I can't help it. Now, I did accidentally order, over order these. I'm just waiting and then I forgot to order these. Oh, I've got these, but I forgot to order my celebration catalogues. And I've over ordered for both of them. So if you don't have a demonstrator already um, and you're after a catalogue, please let me know because I've got like two packs too many. Okay, now let's go through my list. Marigold Moments. This is going to be what I'm using for um, my tutorial membership for January. So, so I've got the Marigold Moments and this is in photopolymer. photopolymer. So that is what I'm going to be using for my next lot of tutorials for membership. And I'm going to be teaming it up. This isn't this doesn't go with this this is a standalone there's actually a die set with it too so anyway it's in there but there's dies with it as well but i'm going to team it up with this designer series paper which actually is part of a different suite but i didn't particularly like the stamp set that went with it so i thought well maybe the marigolds would go with it so Tomorrow I will be starting to create cards for that. So if you want, um, I'll, I'll obviously have more details about that uh, coming soon. Oh, there, there's the dies. Dies go with them. Like I haven't, I haven't opened anything. So uh, I'm going to run into a little bit of strife here very shortly. All right. So that's that bundle. Then I got uh, the milkshake one. So if you are doing Creative Carnival, I am doing um, we do, Creative Carnival is a demonstrator only event that we have um, like a retreat type thing that we have for Australian demonstrators and we're doing it in February is our next one. Registration is actually open at the moment and closes at the end of the month. But I we do a main class and then there's like optional add on classes. So I am doing a share a milkshake class and I'm teaming this up with uh, this designer series paper. I'm not a hearts person, but I did like all the side Bs 
So I thought that maybe that would go nicely with the milkshakes. So lots of patterns on the other side. There is a punch. Again, this has its own complete suite, but I am mixing and matching. So that is for Creative Carnival. And then I got this one. This one is for Creative Carnival as well. We're featuring our classes around Sentimental Park. And this one is also going to be used for my um, February tutorial and Milky Dots. And this one is a bigger suite. So this one's got six by six paper in it. So there's lots of different papers. And I will be doing a paper and ribbon share as well, but I will advertise that. Um, I'll organize that for January just so that you have a little break over Christmas. And there's also um, shimmery paper that goes with this suite. But this shimmery paper is, oh, I don't know whether you can see it, like it's got little fine corrugation on it. So and you get that in shaded spruce in white and bun blue. And that is really, really pretty. Very, very pretty that one. Because it's got the texture, texture in it. And this suite also has ribbon. So that one's also got the ribbon there. So I thought I got the whole suite for that one. Because I really like the sentiments that are in this one as well. So it's got thanks, thinking of you, let's celebrate, dear friend. So you could do like and mix and match. So your new adventure for just for best wishes for your new baby, your anniversary, graduation. So happy birthday. Um, so that one had a lot of nice sentiments in it, which I quite liked. Okay. And then I got some things um, that I liked. Now... So this one is the Fragrant Flowers bundle and also has dyes to go with it. But now this one, there's a few stamp sets in the mini catalogue that you can get in both cling and photopolymer. And I didn't realise that and my stamp set turned up and it's photopolymer. So you need to watch out for that. I would have preferred cling for this one because obviously I will be wanting to colour that one. So... And you will need stays on. Um, so I wish that I had gotten. I wish that I had gotten um, cling for that. And I'm not going to bother returning it because it'll it'll take too long to to do that. Oh wait a minute. There is celebration paper that matches this bundle. How gorgeous is that? How pretty is that paper? Like I was, I wasn't I, in the catalogue. I didn't really like it. And I thought, oh, well, I'll get it anyway because I'm getting that stamp set. And uh, But I, when I opened it up last night, I was just like, oh, wow, that is just absolutely gorgeous. So I really love it. And I'm sure that some of those dies would probably cut out the images from here as well. Possibly. I haven't, like, I haven't looked at them yet, but they probably cut these ones out because they look... They look to be the same. So pretty, pretty. So that is a celebration item. And then I also got a sweet citrus, which surprised me because um, I saw some cards and I quite liked it. And this one's got an embossing folder and a die that come as a bundle. So this is one of those hybrid ones. And I've not owned a hybrid one before, so that will be interesting for me. I got this one, which is called Around the Bend. There is a bundle. I didn't like the stamp set, so I just got these ones. And they sort of like are like border edges. I really like that one. So that one is going to be really fun to play with. Um, you probably doesn't like you have to cut them out to be able to see what they do, I think. So um, we'll play with that one soon because I really quite liked that one. There's a sample in the catalogue which caught my eye on that one and unfortunately I can't show it to you just yet. So, and we saw all the things that I got. 
Uh, you saw those ones. You saw the dragonflies. Uh, other celebration. I think this one's a celebration one. I'm pretty sure it is. Otherwise, I'm not sure that I would have bought it. But um, so this one is quite pretty as well. Look. Just let me look in the celebration. I can't show you, but I can definitely look at it myself. Make sure I'm not in the screen. Okay, yep, so that one's a celebration one as well. And then I got I got in the country, these are celebration ones. Uh, I thought that one might be just a nice rustic one to colour in, to watercolour. And Beautifully Happy. Um, I don't know, did that one come with dyes? I know that one's a, a level a level two. No, it doesn't. It does not come with dyes, but that one's a level two one, Beautifully Happy. And then Adorable Owls. So, <laughs> I know, right, Audrey? I was very, I, I went very mildly. I just got what I need for the next couple of um, projects that I'm working on. And, yeah, and that one's celebration. So all of these ones here are celebration um, items, these ones. So that, that paper, this paper, and I've got these ones. Of course, there's more celebration. I didn't get them all. <laughs> Some people do. Some people get heaps of celebration stuff. I just I, that was plenty enough for me. Um, so I just got enough of for the projects that I need to be working on straight away. So um, that is my little haul. So fun, fun, fun. Yes, I've seen some really cute owl cards coming up already. So you can make a card like this, but you know, pop an owl in there instead of instead of the elephant. You could you know totally do the same type of thing but um that that's super cute he, he's going to be a really cute one to color in as well and he will be good for kids cards too so um that will i mean adults like cute things too don't they they don't just it's not just for kids but they will be fun okay so that that is my haul yay okay just once again before you leave me if you aren't subscribed to my um newsletter race on over and do that now because the tutorial for that i'm going to go and write that up right away i'm going to grab myself a cup of tea and go and write up the tutorial for that card and i will also be sending out this one again as well in the same email so if you are after that one um I think there's a fair, fair few people after that one. I did a cutting guide for that as well, so you can do that because I'm still making Christmas cards. Um, and uh, so, so, and free shipping ends tonight as well for Australia. So if you're in another market, you've got, and you may not have started yet. If you, if it hasn't started for you yet, why are you up at this time? <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so on the 15th of December in all markets, you will have free shipping there is uh, like minimum spends but you'll see that um yes uh when is christmas is it next it's not next week is it next week no it's not next week when is it i don't know <laughs> i haven't done anything for christmas i've got i've got two two gifts <laughs> One's for my eldest, one's for my youngest. You, you probably can't guess what that one is, right? <laughs> He's a tradie. He's gonna love it. Um, so anyway, but I've got to make. I've got to make. I was gonna make those gnome gonks. Uh, Ten days away. Oh, I'm gonna step on it. Uh, I might be here next Thursday. You never know. You never know. Um, I want to make um, the the gonk gnome uh, tags for all my gifts. So I just thought I'm just going to wrap everything in plain brown paper this year, and then and then make those little gonky um, Christmas tags. So and I'm going to do that still too. And I've got to finish off my birthday organizer that I wanted to give my mother-in-law. And blah, and I've got to make all these projects. And so.
maybe you might not see me next week. Depends on how buried I am in, in project making. But it's all fun, right? It's all fun project making. A gonk, a gonk, not a bonk. <laughs> bonk, bonking in Australia is um, a gonk. A gonk is a gnome. <laughs> a gonk is a gnome that doesn't show his face. It only shows his hat and his big fat nose and his beard. So he's like, <laughs> ah, yeah, bonking, bonking is something completely different. <laughs> so um, yeah, anyway, that's a whole nother story, right? Um, I am going to go now and have an absolutely wonderful day. I will possibly be back next week. Um, that'll give me what? Because it's on Sun. Is it Sunday? It's Christmas on Sunday or is Christmas on Saturday? I don't even know that. I think it's on Sunday. I don't know. Anyway, we will see you. Ah, oh, gonk toy back in the seventies. That's cool. Now, and when you Google gonk, there's different gonks. So some of them I've seen those big fluffy ones that have just got the googly eyes on it. So, and they're a completely different type of gonk to the gonk that we're talking about. The things that are out nowadays. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Go and check out my Facebook page if you want to see the whole discussion on gonks and gnomes <laughs> and trolls. And there was something else as well. So that was really funny. Uh, okay, we will see you again next week. Cross fingers. If not, have a wonderful Christmas, everyone. And um, But you will see me around on um, on Facebook anyway. So I'm not going anywhere, not going away for Christmas. I'll probably be crafting on Christmas. Who knows? Okay, we'll catch you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.